Jackman here, and here's a short video on how to draw a ray diagram for a converging lens, and then how to mathematically determine the uh, image properties as well. So here we have a 4 centimeter tall Narupu, uh, standing 6 centimeters, in, sorry, yeah, 6 centimeters in front of a converging lens. And the converging lens is going to have a focal length of two centimeters. There you go. I'm just going to add another uh, focal point the other side there. Uh, right there. I don't think that's the right spot. So it's uh, not perfectly to scale, so we may be a little bit off, but we'll see how this goes. Okay. So now the uh, the first, oh right, and the, uh, the height of this person here is four centimeters. I'm just going to add that to the end. So since we're not perfectly to scale here, we may be a little bit off, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to draw my first ray uh, parallel to the principal axis, and it's going to refract or bend through the focal point like this. Okay. So if you come in parallel, you bend or refract through the focal point. Uh, the second one I'm going to do is um, a line array that goes right through the optical center of my lens. And then just continues forward without bending. So uh, if you go through the optical center, it will be negligible bending. You won't notice any bending. And there we go. We should have an image right there. So just pop this over here. Um, okay, and make it a little smaller, maybe. This is where our image is going to be right here. There we go, approximately. Now, if you want a third ray, you can. The uh, third ray would be uh, from the uh, top of the object right there. It goes through the focal point. Uh, and then it's going to bend straight or parallel to the principal axis. Yeah, like that. Now, as you can see, unfortunately, because we're not using a scale diagram, I'm a little bit off, but uh, pretty close. It's not too bad. So these three rays should intersect at one spot. Really, yeah, it's hard to make this image the right size. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, we're going to be on the other side, a little bit more than a focal length away. We're going to be upside down. And we could put a screen there, and it would show up on the screen. So this is uh, definitely going to be inverted. It's going to be real. We could put it on the screen, and it looks smaller. There we go. So now we're just going to use the formulas to find out the image heights and the image location. So starting off with the lens maker's equation right here, we're just going to find out uh, where is the image located. So we got uh, 6 centimeters and 2 centimeters for our values here. So the focal point length is uh, 2 centimeters, and the object distance is 6 centimeters. And we are going to find out the uh, image distance by subtracting the 1 over 6 centimeters on the other side. Now, what's the common denominator of 2 and 6? It's 6. So this is going to be 3 over 6. Go. So we're going to get um, 3 sixths, subtract 1 sixth. We're going to get an answer of 2 over 6. Right, so we're going to get an answer of 2 over 6. So let's just grab that. Okay, 2 over 6 is equal to 1 over die. If you cross multiply this, you're going to get your, uh, your di, your die, your image distance is going to be equal to exactly 3 centimeters. So 6 divided by 2, or 3 centimeters. There we go. So let's just take a quick look. That looks about 3 centimeters. If, if from here to here is 2, looks about 50% further, 3 centimeters. It looks like we got it, so that's good. So now we're going to find the image height and the image uh, magnification. Okay. So here we got a distance of 3 centimeters. So let's just pop in the values we know. Okay. So we got, let's see, let's just grab this equation here. And we're going to fill it in. There we go. Okay, so the uh, image height we're trying to find, the image, sorry, the object height was 4 centimeters. So we'll just pop that in. The uh, image distance was 3 centimeters. Okay. And the object distance was double check that, that's 6 centimeters. 
Okay. So uh, to find the height, we're just going to use uh, this part of the equation here. And we're going to cross multiply the 4 centimeters over to the other side. Like that. Okay. So now we got the image height all by itself. All right, and so the image height is going to be 3 times 4 divided by 2 with a negative sign. It's going to be negative 2 centimeters. There we go. Now we'd also like to find the magnification. So I'm just going to grab the magnification part of the equation and pop it here. There we go. So we're going to get negative 3 divided by 6. And that is going to work out to be exactly... Uh, 0 0.5 or 1 half. So the magnification is going to be negative 1 half or uh, 0 0.5, sorry, negative 0 0.5 times. So it's going to be half the regular size. There we go. Okay, so let's see, that looks about right. Looks like uh, I take about two of these to make the uh, original one object. You can see, yep, two of them, so it's half its size, definitely. And um, we've got the location, three centimeters away, which uh, also makes sense. So if this line here is six, it looks like it's half of that, yeah, three centimeters, so we're all good. Awesome. And so I hope this helps you uh, figure out how to do a uh, converging lens diagram. Good luck.